The next step in order to create an ASP.NET Core MVC application is to download and install some softwares on the development PC which is required in order to build an ASP.NET Core application. Mainly, we are going to need three softwares for creating an ASP.NET Core application. Visual Studio, MS SQL Server and Postman. We are going to use Visual Studio as an IDE for writing ASP.NET Core code. In simple words, we are going to use Visual Studio for writing c -sharp and HTML code in order to develop ASP.NET Core application. Here, instead of Visual Studio, you can also use other code editors like Visual Studio Code, Atom, Sublime, etc. So, with ASP.NET Core, it is not mandatory to use Visual Studio. You can also use other code editors. Then, we are also going to need MS SQL Server. We need MS SQL Server as a database for storing our application related data. And we need Postman for testing our MVC controllers. Basically, Postman is a tool which is used for testing your APIs. In this course, we are not going to create APIs, but we are going to create controllers. And those controllers can also be tested using this Postman tool. Now, we will install MS SQL Server and this Postman tool when it is required. So, we will install it in the future lectures of this course. Currently, installing Visual Studio should be fine to get started with. So, in this lecture, I am going to show you how you can install Visual Studio on your local machine step by step. In order to install Visual Studio, you need to head to visualstudio.microsoft.com and here you will see this download drop down and the current and the latest version of Visual Studio is Visual Studio 2022 and we are going to install Visual Studio 2022. Now here we have three options to download and install. We can download Community Edition, we can download Professional Edition or we can also download Enterprise Edition. This Professional and Enterprise are paid editions. Okay, so in order to use them, you will have to pay some amount. But this Community Edition is the free one. So, for this course, we are going to download and install Visual Studio Community Edition 2022. Now, in order to download it, just click on this and it will start downloading this Visual Studio Setup installer. So, as you can see, this Visual Studio Setup.exe has been installed. Now, we need to run this exe. For that, you can double click on this. Here, click on this continue button. So, it is getting this Visual Studio installer ready. Now, in this page, we need to select the components, the workloads which we want to install for the Visual Studio. Now, here we have several options. But the one which we are interested in is this component, this ASP.NET and Web Development. So, as you can see, if we install this component, it will allow us to build web applications using ASP.NET Core and ASP.NET along with HTML and JavaScript. So it is this component, it is this workload which I want to install for the Visual Studio. So I will select it here. Now, if you want to use Visual Studio 2022 for building desktop applications and console applications as well, in that case, optionally you can also select this component, this .NET Desktop Development. So when you select this component, when you select this workload, it will allow you to build WPF applications, Windows Forms applications and console applications. So if you want, optionally you can also select this component. But for this course, we don't need this component. Only ASP.NET and Web Development component should be enough for this course. So here I am going to uncheck this component, this .NET Desktop Development because I don't need it right now. And I will only select this ASP.NET and Web Development component. I will only install this workload for Visual Studio 2022. Also, if you go to this individual components, here you will see with that workload, which .NET runtime is going to be installed. As you can see, this .NET 6.0 runtime and .NET 7.0 runtime is automatically checked. Now, from here, you can also select other .NET frameworks which you want to install. For example, if you want to install .NET 5.0 runtime, you can select this checkbox. So, that will also get installed. But here, I don't need this .NET 5.0 runtime, so I will uncheck it. Okay, let's go back to workloads and then now we can go ahead and we can click on this install button. Okay, so here it is going to install this component as well as these two runtimes. Okay, 
but if you want to select some other component for example if you also want to use visual studio for python development you can select this component as well in the same way if you want to use visual studio for node.js development you can select this component as well all right for this course i only need one component which is this asp.net and web development component so i have already selected it i will click on this install button and it will start installing that component that workload and also the runtime which we have selected now this installation is going to take some time so let's wait for the installation to complete and once the installation will be complete as you can see here we have checked this checkbox start after installation so once the installation will complete the visual studio 2022 will automatically start here let's wait for the installation to complete so the installation is almost complete once the installation will be complete you will see that the visual studio automatically starts so here you can see visual studio 2022 has automatically started now here visual studio is trying to sign me in with the microsoft account which i have used to log in to this system but in your case if you're not logged in automatically in that case in order to use visual studio 2022 you will have to sign in using a microsoft account if you don't have a microsoft account first you will have to create a microsoft account and using that microsoft account you can log in but if you already have a microsoft account you can use that microsoft account to log into visual studio 2022 okay so keep in mind that in order to use visual studio 2022 you need a microsoft account all right so here visual studio 2022 is open now you can also open visual studio 2022 by going to start menu and there you can type visual studio and here you will see visual studio 2022 app just click on that and it will open visual studio 2022 also for this visual studio i have only installed one component but if you want to install some more components for your visual studio in the latter point of time in future all you have to do is in the search bar you have to search for visual studio installer okay you can open this visual studio installer here it will show you all the visual studios you have installed in your machine for me i have only installed visual studio community edition 2022 but let's say if you have installed visual studio 2019 that will also show here okay for me i have only installed visual studio 2022 so that's why it is only showing that now here let's say for this visual studio i want to install some more components for that i can click on this modify button and again it will take us to this workloads page you can see this asp.net and web development component is already checked because this is the only component which is installed for this visual studio but if you want to install some more components then you can select it from here for example let's say we want to install this dotnet desktop development you can select it let's say you also want to use this visual studio for python development you can select this component and you can select other components which you want and you can click on this modify button okay so it will go ahead and it will install all those components which you have newly selected the one which was already installed that will not get installed again but the ones which you have newly selected that will get installed here i am not going to do that so i will uncheck this and this i will close this window but here i just wanted to show you how you can install components for your visual studio in the latter point of time all right so now that we have visual studio 2022 installed in our local machine in the next lecture let's see how we can create an asp.net core project this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day